disruptively, right? How disruptive uh, is this whole situation? I've seen reports uh, suggesting that basically the Red Sea is now largely closed to shipping traffic. Is that will that be right? I don't think that is right. Um, if you'd asked me that question 24 hours ago, I'd have I'd have been more sympathetic to it. But um, actually, there's there's been some developments. Um, in the last 24 hours that I think will give us greater confidence that shipping will continue through that region. Now, we've seen that um, num a number of major lines have uh, re re rerouted around the Cape of Good Hope. Um, but at the same time, traffic is still continuing through the Red Sea, even in the face of the Houthi threat. And what came online today um, was uh, Operation Prosperity Guardian, uh, which should offer more confidence to shipping, but also the, the greater uh, global commons that actually this threat can be met head on and that trade will be able to continue. So you're talking about the U.S.-led Naval Task Force uh, that we've been talking about as well. I, I know, John, but here's the thing, right? I mean, uh, can sentiment and confidence and, and trust be turned on a dime on an idea like this? Because this is a pretty massive operation, uh, right? And a lot of things are still not decided or in place yet. Who's going to lead it? Is it going to be a, a U.S. naval officer? What are the rules of engagement, uh, et cetera, et cetera? And, and also, I mean, is it going to basically take time to get asset ships uh, uh, in position? Do you think it's more going to be a case of a, a rolling start? The U.S. takes the lead and everybody uh, else who's on board uh, joins as and when they're able to? No, there are assets in place already. So if you've been scanning this, um, you'll have seen that there have already been kinetic responses by navies in the area to uh, the Houthi threat. Um, what you will see, we hope, um, as a consequence of the operation is a more consolidated and coordinated response so that we have uh, greater security through the affected sea space. Um, it's led by um, the, combi uh, the combined military forces in the region, which we have a huge amount of experience of working with as a consequence of Somali piracy. So we know um, that these guys can do a job um, when they want to. And that's what we're hoping to see. And I think what we need to see next is a diplomatic effort to bring the Houthis to bear by the states that can put pressure on them.